What's up guys, this is Fresh Big Mouth. Welcome to my zone. I love Adobe Premiere because there are some cool tricks that save me time that allow me to do all the ridiculous stuff that I never get to do. So like, what do you think we should do today? Well, I have wanted to do this thing where I visit every bowling alley in LA in one day. Is that weird? I don't know, man. You do you. Okay, well, I guess we'll see how well I do. Meanwhile, let's get cracking. One of the first things I like to do when I hit a Beat Scout is go to the metalogging workspace. The more work you do up here, the more time it saves you later on, so let's dig in. I got all my clips in front of me and I'm ready to start logging Beat Scout instruments. So I'm gonna double click this one. I can see it's this iodine stir thing that I use to create kind of a shaker sound. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the description here and type in shaker. That way, every clip I log as shaker, I can bring all of them up and decide which ones I wanna put in. Another trick in Adobe Premiere Pro is called Essential Sound Panel. I love this one because it basically automatically does the sound for each clip depending on what type it is. You wanna open up the audio workspace and you'll notice the Essential Sound Panel opens up on your right. So when you're working with each clip, you can tell it it's dialogue, sound effects, music, whatever. So I've got a clip in front of me. Let's take a listen to it. Cool, so that's a dialogue clip. So I'm gonna select the clip. I'm gonna tell it it's a dialogue clip. And then right away, Adobe Premiere is gonna apply all sorts of automatic presets to it to make it sound better. Let's take a listen. All right, you guys ready to do this? So right away, Adobe applied all sorts of automatic compression, EQ, it's sounding a lot better. But you can still hear there's a noise problem. So let's go in here and lo and behold, Essential Sound Panel has noise reduction. Let's click the box and see how it sounds. All right, you guys ready? Noise is gone. When things on the timeline are drifting out of time from the beat, use R to retime them. So I've got a clip right here, it's the shaker that we heard earlier. And it's a little slow. So what I'm gonna do is click R, and I can literally just squeeze the whole clip, video and audio, in a couple of frames, and just see if I can get it to be in time. Let's hear it. In time. Here's another little thing I like to do. This is a swap shortcut. I'm in my timeline, let's play the cut as it is. So I feel like those heartbeat clips are a little out of order. What I'm gonna do is Alt-Command-Drag the first clip all the way to the end of the second clip. And it automatically swaps them without changing any timing. And looks like I'm getting a call from myself. Let's check out what I'm up to. All right, we get it, dude. You have big bowling balls. All right, now it's time for Lumetri Color. One of the things I like most about Adobe Premiere Pro is the workspaces. They save you so much time. Instead of having to go to the menus and find all your three-way color correctors and broadcast save filters and putting them on each clip, all you do is click the color workspace tab and you're right into editing with Lumetri Color Corrector. One thing that I've brought with me from the audio world is applying one effect to my entire timeline. Kind of like in mastering with audio, where you apply EQ or compression to the whole song, I want to apply one effect to my entire video. For example, a film look. Adjustment layers are perfect for this. When you put an adjustment layer in, it affects every clip underneath it. In my project monitor here, I'm gonna click New Item. I'm gonna go Adjustment Layer, and I'm gonna click OK, those settings look good. Then I'm just gonna drag this over onto my timeline and I'm gonna zoom out and stretch it to go over my entire video. And then I can add whatever effect I want in there and it's all good. Last but not least, one of my favorite parts of Adobe Premiere Pro is Media Encoder because you can do all of your versioning in one fell swoop. Okay, so I've got my full cut up on my timeline and I'm gonna click Apple M to get my export dialog box up, then click Q to send it over to Adobe Media Encoder. And the beauty of this is, you don't have to wait for each export to happen. You can just create a batch list for Adobe Media Encoder to plow through while you sip your coffee or do whatever you want. So I've got my list up here, and it's of every version that I have, which is 15 second, 30 second cut downs, full version. And for each one of these, I have a ProRes version and a YouTube version. And I just click play and walk away. Thanks for watching, y'all. I hope you had a ball. If you like these tips, 
click the link in the description because you can try Adobe Premiere Pro and Creative Cloud for free. What can I say more? Um, by the way, I noticed one thing. You're not good at bowling, but you're really good at bowling a lot, which I guess was the point. So you're a really good person.